Welcome to our program, Psychological Studies. Today, the 14th module, Encounter with Peace and Health. May we all feel welcomed in this program of reflections from a transpersonal perspective as immortal beings as we all are, beings essentially of love, of peace, and goodness. We carry on our reflections based on the thinking and enlightening from the spiritual benefactor Joana de Angelis, where we will start our reflection today analyzing the current human behavior. He has no doubt that the terrestrial society is sick. When we analyze all of us as human beings we can easily see that, that the society is sick and that means that us who are part of the society are also in a sick state of mind. The high rates of individual and collective violence that plagues the world are frightening in a sad demonstration of the predominance of our ancestral atavism which have not been overcome by the advent of reason, discernment and feelings of love, has not been overcome. As immortal beings who are learning to overcome our own conflicts, we are right now on earth to choose to engage with this proposal so that we develop feelings of more love. Disrespect for the natural laws, the indifference to the destiny of mankind, increase panic in the most fragile people and depression also resulting from many other factors becomes pandemic. We can all see that in these present moments, unfortunately, but there is a way out there is a way for us to engage, to journey within and activate the aspects of health and peace. The masses seen anesthetized by suffering, having lost the way and trust in a better future. There is a great wave of negativity, which is contagious which people seem to be anesthetized by sufferings, by complaints, by negativity, that all of us can help to overcome, to change that, if each one of us engages with our individual renovation, actualization. Peace, frightened, cannot attract to its programs. All those who for long for their presence in the heart, but do not know how to bring it about. So the proposal of peace can be frightened by those who don't know how to conquer it, how to develop it in this present state of evolution. We all have the inner resources of peace that we bring with us. We all can learn to engage with those potentials, observing our inner world. There are deviations of every order in the world, leading nowhere in these torturous ways of seeking health and self-realization. And this is primarily down to the materialistic viewpoint about health based on the external element of our three-dimensional way of being, the body. Self-realization from a materialistic viewpoint be based on having things and doing what I like to do, not necessarily what I should do in terms of connecting with the divine within ourselves. We have the free will, we can do whatever we want, but we don't have the free will to choose when it comes to the consequences of our choices. 
governments and associations dedicated to the good do not find resonance in national and international conscience. For the eradication of poverty, diseases and other moral wrongs that propagate chiefly. That is what the spiritual benefactor Joana de Angelis is telling us. And why is that? Because it still prevails the unhealthy patterns of selfishness and pride within the heart of the human being. The majority, not everyone, because there are also lots of people who already are choosing to connect with the inner love and spread love and peace within and around. Undeniably, the horizons of the future are, from an immediate point of view, shaded by despair and anarchy, because the presence of the crime of all kinds are visible and frightening. Again, that is a reality that we are facing on us, but engaging with it, that is down to us. We bring the inner freedom that we can choose not to, as long as we choose the pathway to conquer inner peace. As society influences the individual's behavior, this in its turn is the agglutinator of the social group, interdependent each other in incessant flow of energy. How are we impacting the environment, the society, the community, the family where we are? Promoting peace or anarchy? It is a choice. Let's choose peace. Although the solutions must be proposed by the groups, it will be the individual that the basis of the adjustment must be worked, the guidance, guidelines of rebalancing. Ethical values for the benefit of his or her physical, emotional, psychic and moral health before the urgent commitments to the acquisition of peace. Dear friends, inner peace is a consequence of developing a healthy and peaceful relationship with ourselves, eliminating, eradicating any belief system or any emotion which is contrary to peace, which is contrary to the well-being of ourselves and others from a self-level honest, from our essence. And we always can come back and choose to connect with the inner potential of goodness. All possible efforts should be directed to the citizen of this moment who is stunned as well as to the new generations that should be attended with affection and serious education programs so as to recover the general health and save the planet that suffers the hallucination of its inhabitants. I am aware that we are all cooperating <coughs> in one way or another to establish the balance, the harmony of our planet? We are. Indispensable is the formation of a culture of love because it is necessary to learn to love, overcoming internal conflicts and modifying the feelings that are set against when they should disarm themselves to only love enabling the installation of an existential climate of respect for life and in all its expressions. When we choose to learn to develop self-love, we are choosing to engage and to relate with the greatest power in the universe, love, which comes from God. And we bring the germs of it within ourselves. We all are capable of learning to love ourselves and others. We can train ourselves on daily basis 
as long as we choose to. Deepening the investigation of the causes of human afflictions in the innermost being is the duty of all. Our afflictions are aspects of disconnection with the greatest resource of love, of goodness and peace, which is God. Let's redirect our minds and hearts and engage with this profound invitation, proposal of health and peace. The individual in his condition as the basic cell of the social group needs guidance and orientation for the exercise of his citizenship, resources that promote his well-being and dignity. And we started with inner selves and cooperating in helping others also to develop inner dignity, respect and love. Materialistic theories, unfortunately, have been increasingly contributing to the moral discontent of the human creature by offering a pessimistic view of the world and existence, thereby contributing to utilitarianism and immediacy, to self-preoccupation, to the detriment of others, as if someone could live happily with selfishness and indifference about the reality of being immortal. We are, we are all immortal beings. We are all interconnected. Only through selfishness and indifference we think we have nothing to do with our brothers and sisters in humanity. From a loving perspective, we understand this interconnection through the waves of love, of fraternity, of brotherhood. The integral being is beyond the physical body and should be considered as the intelligent principle that is, the semi-material envelope that converts it and the physical form in which it moves while in the process of terrestrial, terrestrial evolution. Integral being means us as immortal beings, spirits, who temporarily are expressing ourselves through the physical body. But we are immortal. And our journey, our experiences, or our interactions while on earth should be from the viewpoint as immortal beings. So whatever we choose to do in terms of goodness, whatever we choose to do in loving ourselves and others and nature in life, we are doing for the good of us today and for tomorrow because we will be inheriting our own psychological and emotional experiences. Responsibility for the acts that the individual practices, souls and rights according to the level of evolution in which he or she is advancing incessantly in the direction of the glorious destiny which is the relative perfection that awaits him. We are talking here about the laws of cause and effect. We are already in the stage of the reason and therefore we are developing our free will. And in that way, as we are interconnected with the natural laws of life, we are free to choose our options, but we are not choose, free to choose the consequences of them. In that way, it's wise for us to consider to make wise choices according to the laws of love, so that the consequences which we don't have choice are also loving consequences in our hearts, in our minds, in our behaviors, in our ways of being with ourselves, with others in the family, workplace, the community, the society. In this sense, Spiritism offers valuable material of experiences and knowledge that enables us for internal and external challenges 
preparing for the valorization of life, self-knowledge, in order to enter the area where the safe guidelines for happiness lie, which must be awakened. The safe guidance for happiness lies within ourselves. A spiritism, a proposal of self-knowledge, as immortal beings as we are, <coughs> is helping us, to enlighten us, to reach that deep inner sacred environment, psychically speaking, the core of ourselves, the essence of ourselves, which is love. As we journey more and more within and allow ourselves to connect with the divine love within us, we are connecting with this inner power, inner guidance, inner wisdom, that more and more we are choosing experiences that promote health and peace within us. Barrier of the most excellent psychotherapy, spiritism, for balance and happiness, focuses its valuable resources on the exercise of love, enlarging its in flames of enlightenment, liberating ignorance, which culminates in the experience of charity. Exper experience of charity. Charity here means once we connect with the core of ourselves, which is love, we already, through exercising, benevolence, indulgence, and forgiveness towards others, we are inflaming us, we are spreading the love within us and also around us. The vision about life changes. The way that we perceive others changes for better, as we are all creatures beings in evolution and everyone is given the best but we choose freely within to activate that intense strong inner power which is love in the face of scientific and technological advances and individual and collective ambitions in the insane search for more accumulation and enjoyment the dissatisfaction with that has already been achieved, giving way to the existential void responsible for inner conflicts. Materialistic perspective of validating uh, inner realization based on things, on having things, is an illusion, which is responsible to develop the inner void the inner conflicts, and therefore the lack of inner health, the lack of inner peace. Now, we are spiritual beings learning in the material world, not to get attached and not to refer our happiness in having this or that. But yes, to interact what is from the material world with the will of a mortal being. Happiness, health, and peace does not depend on having things, having properties. It depends in choosing to engage with that without attachment. The human knows, bewildered, in the face of the false needs of accumulating and enjoying, alongside the gravings disarranged by pleasure, run to collective depressions or violence hoping to find in the aggressive actions the joy that has been lose, losing the sense of gratification. They become indifferent. Inevitably, the crisis of behavior emerge from the conflicts of emotion. The human being has preferences, selects what pleases him, chooses what suits him within the parameters of personal interests. And guess what? The parameters of personal interests are based on selfishness and greed, therefore lacking 
peace and integral health. When faced with a repeated or the challenging not being in emotional equilibrium, the person slides into psychological leaks, transferring to conflicts of direction and disguising on them under other manifestations. In the background remain the roots of dissatisfaction, which will be wilted and disfigured in any other conflicting aspects. The secondary gains or intentions or the motivations behind the intentions are not healthy. They are secondary gains, they are based on personal interest, they are based on greed, vanity and selfishness. They are lacking fraternity, solidarity, goodness, which comes from the development and cultivation of love. The human psyche is almost the same age as the universe, teaches the spiritual benefactor Giovanna de Angelis. Since the creation, the psychic has begun to form under the command of the divine mind. The existential crisis is a form of rupture from the past, propitiating new investments of the intelligence and the emotion in order to appear other levels of support for the achievement of harmony that presupposes balance, stability, personal fulfillment. When we realize our disturbances, when we understand they represent or they manifest our disconnection with the Creator, God, who is love, then we bring the focus back to us, focusing on our essence, which is love, which comes from God, and we expand self-love and love around us. In that way, we are bringing fulfillment and self-realization. Therefore, health and peace. Life is a high of price and progress in the unceasing march of the moral intellectual achievements that perfect the spirit. Life is a high or a hymn of praise and progress. We are all under the law of progress and evolution, and that for itself is a reason for us to feel at peace within. Once we comprehend it, once we really truly feel it through the self-renovation process. Peace is a consequence of understanding life from a profound transpersonal perspective and moving accordingly. <clears throat> if we haven't learned, we can all learn it. <clears throat> Money is in suspicious, insecurity and complexes of inferiority, superiority, narcissism, shyness, sexual torment are centered on the previous behaviors of the spirit that did not know how to contact himself with the necessary dignity, the fraud in the codes of life, even without the knowledge of other people. Whatever we do in the universe, even if it's hidden by others, but it will never be hidden by your own consciousness. And in that way, the disturbances that we created in relation to life and others creates disturbance within us that sooner or later, life invites us all to challenge and to overcome them. Bearing in mind that we have been created as beings of love, and health and peace will be a result of learning to love and respect ourselves. Doesn't matter what we did in the past, we are all learners. Learn to forgive, learn to learn, learn to obey the natural laws, learn to be driven by the love which comes from God, comes from our inner wisdom as a free choice that we now understand better life in itself because we are understanding ourselves in a better way 
than ever. Mental and physical health is the result of harmony between the self and the ego, establishing a real identification of existential purpose and fulfillment of the duties of enlightenment and inner peace. Duties of enlightenment. We are all here learning to enlighten our shadows. But we will not enlighten our shadows only talking about enlightenment. There is the need for us to compromise with us whenever the shadows emerge that we learn to control them and redirect the inner force towards love, which will favor the state of inner peace. <clears throat> the obsessions caused by disincarnate spirits are much more numerous and serious than one can imagine. The psychology of relationships will we study this is still an explored field in more depth, considering the need to establish therapies of its own, of a preventive and curative nature, in order to curb this emotional and mental epidemic that takes, o takes over Earth. <clears throat> the obsessive obsession process, it is an epidemic on Earth at present moment, at present time. It is important for us to observe our self-obsessive thinking when we are fixed in negative ideas and cooperate willingly to re-educate ourselves, developing more constructive, positive belief systems. We all can do that. It is achievable for all of us so that we free ourselves from this obsessive, pessimistic, aggressive epidemic that collectively is happening on Earth. All of us has the faculty of freedom which we can exercise in caring about ourselves, promoting belief systems, inner attitudes, inner behaviors that favor health and peace. Directing the thought against the adversary now in the physical body, the spirit sick by hatred unloads vibrations that will disturb the balance. In any disorder of obsessive nature, the patient is also an ill spirit in the process of recovery as a result of the arbitrary conduct that has been allowed previously, generating the regrettable process of which he now suffers. Our sufferings today are the consequences of our regrettable behaviors in the past. Doesn't matter, we are learners. And our purpose is to engage with love in the universe. And therefore we allow ourselves to give new opportunities as a free choice in exercising goodness, in exercising love, and also in training ourselves to forgive us. It's not because we, have, we did wrongs in the past that we are not worthy in the present. We are valuable beings, imperfect, perfecting, actualizing, evolving, growing as we go along the, the process of progress. Mental and emotional health results from the ethical harmony of the spirit in its path of evolution. Ethical values are those values that are good for everyone in the present and in the future. And those ethical values refer to the virtues, patience, tolerance, forgiveness, acceptance, obedience within the natural laws, resignation. The inner empowering process of freely choosing to be good for the sake of good. People must learn to be happy by selecting altruistic and positive feelings. It is an inner realization that is independent of the other, therefore personal and not transferable. We all can choose to select altruistic and positive feelings, choosing altruistic and positive thoughts, choosing altruistic and positive behaviors, choosing altruistic and positive attitudes. 
We can do that. Being happy is the goal of existence, in a, and achieving it is the psychological challenge awaiting human maturation. We all want to be happy, isn't it? But happiness is a consequence of inner choices. So let's choose altruistic, constructive, positive, positive ways of being, remembering the real values, cultivating the ethical, moral values. And in that way, we are constantly developing inner health and inner peace. Love in sexual function is very important, even from the physiological point of view, because the release of oxygen oxytocin provides harmony since this hormone is responsible for the sense of peace that the partners experience with intimacy very intimacy the individuals who are sexually satisfied and harmonized without the distressing and disturbing conflicts of insecurity shyness and inferiority the joy of living the well-being of existence the natural desire to procreation protection of the family, cooperation in the individual and social progress are beings who already conquered a more mature way of living. In other words, are beings who are already connecting with that inner power, love. Three, they are more mature in understanding what it means to engage with the sexual energies which in essence are the creative powerful forces in the universe. Healthy sexual relationships favor the emotional balance between ego and self, providing real joy of living. In the awakening of self-awareness, the concept of destination, of immortality, of self-knowledge, of valorization of contents, of a stimuli to new healthy discoveries and significant achievements arises. We are so much more what we think we are. We carry within such strong potentials that are awaiting for us to stimulate. We all are immortal beings. I repeat again, beings of love, beings of light, and beings of peace. If we are not in peace, it's because we are disconnected temporarily with those inner potentials. And in any moment, we can choose to come back to rescue ourselves from ourselves and engage in a free way. The natural process which brings about the attainment of full consciousness is also made of advances in the self-denial, discernment, love and self-giving. The inner enlightenment occurs by developing the infinite internal resources that proceed from God. Infinite is not finite resources that we bring. Enlightenment occurs when we are able to understand who we are, where we came from and where we go, culminating in enlightenment around what we must accomplish on earth. Where we came, who we are? Immortal beings. Where we came from? From the spiritual world, where we are returning after the end of our journey on earth. And where we are going? Continuous evolving and continuous progressing. Intelligence exists without the brain mechanisms that externalize it, just as the stars before the discovery of the telescopes and the microorganism life before the sophisticated microscopes. The proposal of Jesus, the psychotherapist per excellence, works the human mind for new steps in the ethical field of social behavior showing that personal relationships are expressions of emotional and spiritual exchange in which respect, honorability, fraternal feelings, compassion and love play a key role in preserving peace in the community. Let's embrace the proposal of love 
one another, developing peace and integral health as immortal beings as we all are in the present, creating this reality for our own future, either here on earth or beyond it. Let's embrace this proposal of love one and another. We are all children of God. We are all brothers and sisters in humanity. Let's expand the radiation of love from within our hearts and minds and express it through, express it through our way of being wherever we are and with who we are, today and always. Much peace to all.